The interior is unglazed with a graphite floor and light walls. There are several benches and chairs and a roll-up screen. A middle-aged woman, about 40 to 45 years old, wearing a red t-shirt, a black jacket over it and a black skirt. On the legs, probably medium translucent flesh-colored tights, and cream ballerinas on them. The right shoe loses contact with the foot more often, though not completely. However, both are fancifully lowered and raised, various interesting positions are performed. Be it legs crossed or feet lowered on the floor, SpaceX sends more Starlinks into orbit. The new series has problems. SpaceX continues to expand its Starlink satellite network. In March, it made two more rocket launches, sending over 100 new ships. However, not everything goes according to plan. The first batch of new much larger Starlink satellites shipped in February is malfunctioning. SpaceX is building a huge network of telecommunication satellites in low Earth orbit. The Starlink system provides broadband access to the Internet, and its main customers are people and organizations located in places where terrestrial services are unavailable or very unreliable. The Starlink system is already used by over a million users on all continents of the world. Starlink is even present at a research station in Antarctica, in addition to fixed subscribers. The network is entering the market of mobile services in the aviation sector. Starlink is not only used commercially, the system helps during natural disasters. And Ukraine also uses its services to defend its territory against Russian aggression. In March, two more orbital missions were carried out to expand the network. On March 17, 2023, a Falcon 9 rocket with another set of Starlink satellites was launched from the Vandenberg Cosmodrome on the west coast of the USA. In the Starlink 2-8 mission, it sent another 52 network satellites. The flight was successful in all phases and after about 15 minutes all ships safely left the upper stage of the rocket in the initial orbit. From here, after the test phase. They will go to the target orbits of shell number 2 of the system after the test phase. The mission used a used lower stage of the Falcon 9 rocket with the designation B-1071, for which it was already the 8th flight. Previously, this element successfully accelerated missions NROL-87, NROL-85, Sarah-1, Starlink 3-2, Starlink 4-29, SWAT and Starlink 2-6. Also after this launch, the stage returned to Earth and landed under its own propulsion on the autonomous barge OCISLY in the Pacific Ocean. In the Starlink 2-8 flight, V1.5 satellites were sent. This is the most popular version of Starlink satellites to date. Each of the V1.5 ships has a mass of approximately 300 kilograms and has antennas for communication in the car and crew bands, as well as lasers and receiving systems for inter-satellite laser communication. The satellites are equipped with ion propulsion, krypton-powered hull thrusters, with which they maneuver and reach their target orbits. Exactly one week later, on March 24, another Starlink mission launched from the Cape Canaveral spaceport on the east coast of the United States. Starlink Flight 5-5 sent 56 satellites to shell number 5. This shell is for the Starlink second-generation network. However, in the case of this flight, satellites of the V1.5 version were sent the same ones that occupy the previous generation shells no 1 to 4. The mission was a complete success. About an hour after launch, all satellites were launched simultaneously into the initial low Earth orbit. 
The second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket was used in the rocket flight. For the element with the number B1067, it was already the 10th space mission. Previously, a copy was used to launch missions. Crew flights to ISS Crew 3 and Crew 4, cargo flights to the ISS CRS-22 and CRS-25, Turksat 5B, Hotbird 13G, Starlink 4-34 and Starlink 5-2, O3BM Power 1 and 2, after the work was done. The stage detached from the upper stage of the rocket and returned to Earth for the tenth time, landing on the ASOG Autonomous Barge in the Atlantic Ocean. The Starlink 5-5 mission sent 56 satellites to shell number 5. This is the orbital shell, for which the first launch was carried out in December 2022. Ultimately, it is to be filled with second-generation Starlink satellites, much larger, many times more capacious than the V1.5 version. In the future, Starlink V2 satellites are to be launched on the Starship Super Heavy rocket system developed by SpaceX. However, in this mission, as in the four previous ones, the well-known V1.5 satellites flew to this shell. SpaceX maintains a very high rate of launches of its orbital rockets. A significant part of these flights, 10 out of 20, are missions of the Starlink mega constellation she is building. A total of over 4,100 system satellites have already been launched into orbit. Most of them went to first-generation shells numbered 1-4. to four. In 2021, the company completed the construction of the first orbital shell number 1, and in 2022 it also practically completed the filling of shell number 4. Currently, shells number 2 and no. 3 are being filled with higher inclination orbits that improve network coverage at higher latitudes. In December 2022, the expansion of shells number 5 and number 6 began, which will receive over 3,000 satellites. At the end of February 2023, SpaceX flew the first Starlink 6 to 1 mission with Starlink V2 mini satellites a reduced version of the Starlink V2 satellite, adapted to be carried on a Falcon 9 rocket. Ultimately, the Starlink V2 satellites will fill shells number 5 and no. 6 each of the V2 satellites weighs 800 kilograms and has 4 times the telecommunication capacity compared to V1.5. These satellites are also much larger have a pair of solar panel wings and new ion engines powered by Argon, not Krypton like their predecessors. The Starlink 6-1 mission successfully placed the V2 mini-satellites into their initial orbit. But most of them began to lose altitude due to the drag of Earth's residual atmosphere instead of climbing to their target positions. Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that some of the new satellites are experiencing problems and some will be intentionally deorbited, and some will be additionally tested before reaching their final position. According to the NASA spaceflight portal, the problems concern various systems, power, communication and orientation control. Interestingly, there was no information about the malfunctioning of the ion engines, which are completely new, powered by a new gas. Problems with the Starlink V2 mini-satellites should not significantly reduce the pace of launches with Starlink satellites. Another mission with V1.5 satellites is planned for the end of March. SpaceX also hopes to send another set of V2 mini-satellites. The interior is unglazed with a graphite floor and light walls. There are several benches and chairs and a roll-up screen. A middle-aged woman, about 40 to 45 years old, wearing a red t-shirt. A black jacket over it and a black skirt. On the legs, 
probably medium translucent flesh-colored tights, and cream ballerinas on them. The right shoe loses contact with the foot more often, though not completely. However, both are fancifully lowered and raised, various interesting positions are performed. Be it legs crossed or feet lowered on the floor.